So let me define now the notion of equicontinuity in general and then we are ready for at least for the statement of Asela Ascoli. So here's uh, the definition um, of equicontinuity and this is a definition uh, for a subset of continuous functions on our interval 0 to 1. Huh? Okay, so uh, uh, a, which is a subset of the continuous functions of the interval 0 to 1. So this is called equicontinuous. Equicontinuous. Yeah, if we have this continuity estimate in terms of epsilon and delta uh, for all elements in this family A together for the same delta. Huh? So if f of x minus f of y, uh, so for all epsilon we need this of course, so for all epsilon bigger to zero, uh, of course there should exist a delta delta bigger than zero, uh, such that, yeah, maybe let me write it, there's a bit more space, okay, so like continuity, yeah? so for all epsilon bigger than zero, I have a delta bigger than zero, such that f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon uh, for all uh, x minus y smaller than delta. Okay, up to now it just looks like the definition of continuity for the function f, uh, but now I'm saying I want this estimate with the same delta for all elements in my family A. Uh, so this has to be true for all f in A. Uh, of course con continuity would mean that there is a delta, but this delta depends on f. Uh, and now the point is f, a uh, delta, should not be dependent on on, on f, but it should be the same. I'm possible. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's possible to, to choose the same delta, which works for all, for all f uh, in my subset, in my set A. Uh, okay. So so one delta rules them all. Uh, okay. So for each epsilon, there is such a delta which works for all of them. Okay. So that's the equicontinuity, <coughs> uh, and we have seen before that this. This probably is a property which a compact subset of the continuous functions should have. Uh, so, and actually, that's really the, the crucial property which we need in addition to being uh, closed and bounded. Uh, so now we really have the theorem of Asela Ascoli. And this uh, says that uh, if we have uh, a subset of the continuous functions, um, so consider a subset of the continuous functions on the interval 0 to 1, and then the compactness of this set is exactly uh, the fact that the set A is, of course, uh, closed and bounded. That's what we always need, uh, but in infinite dimensions there must be something more. And here, for this Banach space, we can say exactly what this something more is. Namely, uh, this set must also be equicontinuous. Equi continuous. Good. Okay, and that's of course the main theorem of this lecture here, and that's what we have to prove. Good. But before we go to this, maybe. Um, Maybe it would be good uh, to also look back at our concrete sequence of elements which we have in a unit ball of this, namely the monomials, and maybe check that they are not equicontinuous, huh? because uh, that should be somehow the reason uh, that, that they don't have a convergent subsequence, and so they better should not be equicontinuous, and maybe just uh, let us check that this is the case to yeah, to get a maybe a, yeah, to have a better feeling that this really uh, 
should be the right thing. Okay, so here I have uh, drawn these pictures for this situation. Huh? So we consider continuous functions on the interval 0 to 1. And I look on the sequence of functions, the monomials, huh? the function x, the function x squared, x to the 3. Huh? And we have seen they cannot have a convergent subsequence, uh, but maybe uh, yeah, the reason for this is that actually they are not uh, equi-continuous. Uh, mm? Okay, and this is yeah, this is the case. Uh, so for this, I should show that uh, yeah, the negation of this. So there exists an epsilon uh, such that <coughs> for all delta, I'm not able to find those estimates. Uh, and for epsilon, let's say I take uh, epsilon uh, equal to one half. Uh, okay, so here. I want to check that the sequence x to the n, n bigger or equal to 1, is not equicontinuous. Uh, okay, and for this uh, I take epsilon. Uh, it's I should show that for some epsilon bigger than 0, I have the negation of this. Uh, so I take ep epsilon equal to 1 half. Okay, and so I mean, if it would be equicontinuous, then for this epsilon, I would have this. So uh, xn equicontinuous uh, would imply that for this epsilon, there is a delta bigger than zero, uh, such that for all x and y, which have distance less than. Uh, uh, delta, uh, the, the, the functions should be close together. And of course the problem here in this setting for this sequence of functions is of course the point 1. Uh, because at the point 1 uh, the behavior of them is, is very different. Uh. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so, so actually I am only comparing a point x with the point y and y I'm choosing equal to 1. Uh, because that's where something is going wrong. wrong. Uh, okay, but so if they uh, yeah, if this would be an equicontinuous family, uh, then there should be a delta such that the function at the point x, x to the n, uh, compared to the function at the point y, uh, that this is smaller than epsilon, which I'm choosing here, let's say, just for concreteness, as one half. Uh, and I would need this for all n, uh, but also for all uh, x which are closer than delta to 1. Huh? So I'm, I'm choosing an x such that the distance here is, is delta or less. Huh? Okay, so for all uh, x which are bigger than, than this. Huh? Okay, or maybe um, if I have a strict inequality, maybe I should take it like this. Ah, good. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Equicontinuity would tell me that x to the n is, let's say, closer than one half to one to the n. And of course, one to the n is always one uh, for arbitrary n. Uh, of course, I mean, uh, I can make this closer than epsilon uh, if I make this x here closer and closer to one. But equicontinuity tells me I should say. I, I should here have the closeness to 1 should be independent of the n. But of course this is not true because x to the n converges to 0 if n goes to infinity. And of course the distance between 0, uh, so, so this means x to the n eventually will be further away from 1 than this 1 half. Uh, okay, uh, so there is no way of finding uh, a delta such that I have this this here for all n. Uh, so this is a contradiction. And of course here this is the same problem as before, namely that 1 converges to 1 for all for this family and all the other guys converge to 0. Uh, so in, in the neighborhood of, of 1 I have a problem. Uh, the behavior doesn't fit together, at least not in a uniform uh, way. Good, uh, okay, so this really tells us that uh, this sequence here is not equicontinuous. Good. Okay, but of course now we really uh, should prove in general, I say lastly. Uh, 